Yeah. Back. Back at it like a snack habit, man. We back with another Let's one. Let's for go. A fun one. Hey, so we got an old school one right here on that was on. Now looks like this on Oprah's page. This one, Donald Trump teases a president bid during 1988 Oprah Winfrey. So a president bid. So this the 88 version of Trump, 1988. Let's see this. You took out a full page ad in uh, major U.S. newspapers uh, last year criticizing U.S. foreign policy. What would you do differently, Donald? I'd make our allies, forgetting about the enemies, the enemies you can't talk to so easily, I'd make our allies pay their fair share. We're a debtor nation. Something's going to happen over the next number of years with this country because you can't keep going on losing $200 billion, and yet we, we let Japan come in and dump everything right into our markets and everything. It's not free trade. If you ever go to Japan right now and try to sell something, forget about it, Oprah. Just forget about it. It's yeah. almost impossible. They don't have laws against it. They just make it impossible. They come over here. They sell their cars, their VCRs. They knock the hell out of our companies. And, hey, I have tremendous respect for the Japanese people. I mean, you can respect somebody that's beating the hell out of you, but they are beating the hell out of this country. Kuwait, they live like kings. The poorest person in Kuwait, they live like kings. And yet they're not paying. We make it possible for them to sell their oil. Why aren't they paying us 25% of what they're making? It's a joke. This, this sounds like mm. political presidential talk to me. And I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not. But I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country, how we're, how we're really making other people live like kings, and we're not. What do, what do you think of this year's presidential race, the way it's shaping up? Well, it's going to be very interesting. I, I think... Uh, I think that probably George Bush has an advantage in terms of the election. I think that probably people would say that he's got like that little edge in terms of the incumbency, et cetera, et cetera. But I think Jesse Jackson's done himself very proud. I think Michael Dukakis has done one hell of a job. And George Bush has done a hell of a job. You know, he, they all went in there yes, sort of as semi-underdogs, including George Bush, and they've all come out. Uh, I think people that are around all three of those candidates can be very proud of the jobs they've done. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go into wow. losing. I've never gone into losing my life. <laughs> and, and if I did decide to do it, I think I'd be inclined. I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing. This country would make one hell of a lot of money from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been. Believe me. Where wow. was this Donald Trump? Right, I was thinking the same thing. Where was this one? I was like, wow, look how clear and level-headed he sounded. Where was, he was this talking Donald Trump? Like he knew about policy or how some thing, you know. I don't know what happened over the years. I, Joy, if I would have seen this Donald Trump <laughs> in 2016, and I wasn't even into politics, and I thought I was supposed to go black folks, supposed to go Democrat, I would have been like, nope, give me a Make America Great Again hat immediately i promise you if he was like Man. that if he was on that like that back then bro I would have... very different i pro very what? different what? he didn't even sound What's like himself person? he didn't he didn't bro i'm, wow. so, I'm so confused because that man when he was at that point he, he was sounded he, he said he he sounded like his stuff was together let's go like he knew like... what he was actually talking about bro let's go i was like wow Whoa. so what happened Probably like, man. From then until. Get this junk. <laughs> Make that bread. Right? <laughs> and his hair was all looking together. Well, he's 70s. So, I mean. Yeah, I know. Older, he had going to change. But, but, no, he. um, Yeah. I would have. He probably got, you know, got out of that political arena and started focused on making. On business. Getting, getting business. And yeah. So he was like, man, Kinda you know what? Back. If they got. If they had a, um, you know. The way country, how things are going, he said, let me give it a shot. But I believe he wasn't, he wasn't as into politics later in life like he was, might have been young. Because younger, he was going. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Man, that was fire, man. Yeah. Okay. That was good. Like, comment, subscribe, don't take a nose dive, but comment down in the section below if you want some more. Let's go. Let's go. See you in the next video, guys. Yeah.